What's up, YouTube family? How is everybody today, man? It's a rainy day here in Philly, PA, but we're gonna make the best of it, you know what I'm saying? All right, so first and foremost, uh, I gotta run around and do a little bit of real estate stuff. And also, I received a call yesterday about my New Jersey concealed carry permit. And the state trooper said that it is ready for me to pick it up. So without further ado, I am gonna make my way over to Jersey. This way, now, when I travel over the bridge from Pennsylvania, I am covered, man, I am covered. The roughest, toughest, he-man, stuffest hombre has ever crossed the Rio Grande. And I ain't no man be pamby. Now the thing about the New Jersey permit is so many, you gotta follow so many rules, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, the process took about, start to finish, it took about four, four and a half months. I ain't gonna hold you, man, almost five months. They kept changing things. Every time I take the form back, it was, you know, and the whole thing is because in New Jersey, they're just starting this where concealed carry can be done in New Jersey, as well as people from other states and the process that you have to go through. So they're still learning the formalities, figuring out how they wanna do. Um, one time I went back, they changed the form. You used to have to have three references on the form and they changed it from three ref, no, I think it was, yeah. They changed it from three references to five, I believe it was, five references you had to have. Also, you had to have three of the same forms to turn in. They changed it to where you only had to have the one form. Then they changed it, you had to make check payable to a certain you know i don't know it wasn't new jersey state police it was like new jersey treasurer or something like that then i went back again and i had that check had to, well it had to be a cashier's check or a money order so i had that money order and it had to be changed and made payable to the new jersey state police I said, oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me, man. And um, it was something else that happened. It was the forms, it was the amount, and it was one other thing I can't think of right now. It's probably gonna come to me. But when I, oh, and also you had to have two passport photos. They changed it back to where you just needed like one. Um, and the photos have to be a certain size, so. But the state trooper, I seen the same one every time. He was a cool guy, no issues, um, you know, and, and it's probably pissing them off just as much because it's a new process and they have to have certain people, you know, they have to uh, delegate who's gonna be the one to take care of this. You probably have all of them in there like, I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna do it. And you're like, all right, you gotta do it. So you have to speak to certain people when you go, go there. Um, and one other thing, you go through all of this and the permit lasts for two years. You have to get it renewed every two years. Why would you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? Hopefully in two years, once this is up, they'll have the program pretty much together and it won't be a lengthy process and it should be a smooth transaction. And also they'll probably notify you 60 days prior to it expiring and let you know that you have to renew it. And in New Jersey, once you do take the course, you have to take a course with a certified instructor and you have to do a, a shooting test and you have to qualify for that. And also the most important thing is whatever gun you're gonna carry in New Jersey is the firearm you have to qualify with. Firearm cannot be over 10 rounds, period. You cannot be over Jersey, New Jersey, even with your concealed carry with any firearm over 10 rounds in the magazine. And also you cannot have 
let's say you go and you purchase a new firearm and you gotta let New Jersey State Police, you gotta go fill out another form and let them know, I'm gonna be, you know, I, call, I, I qualify for this with this one and now I'm gonna be carrying this over there. Other than that, the ones that you qualify with, you put those on the form, I did two. I think it was a um, maximum of two. So I qualified with two two of my firearms. So those are gonna be my two concealed carries over here. Uh, purchased a few more since then, because like I said, it's like four and a half months ago, but I can't carry them over. Like I like my Springfield Hellcat subcompact, which holds 14 rounds. Can't carry it if I'm going over Jersey. So that's cool. So if I'm out here and I'm carrying my Hellcat and I decide I have to go over the bridge to Jersey, I need to get back home and switch up because I can't take that over the bridge with me. So keep that in mind, man. So these are some of the things that goes along with becoming a concealed carry in New Jersey, as well as now you have a lot of establishments over Jersey saying no concealed carry firearms allowed on premises. So that's another thing. And then I'm, I'm almost certain that you cannot carry them in. I know you can't, you can't carry them in the casinos so you know but i mean it's better to at least be able to carry it over there man and you know have it have it with you so that's that's what's going on i'm gonna go pick it up once i do pick it up come back to you guys let you know i went oh man come on what are you on y'all man driving crazy out here in the rain man they just don't want to go oh man all right man so i'm gonna keep on pushing and i'll holler at you guys when i get to the state police barracks in new jersey all right so anybody who lives over in jersey already know this traffic be crazy crazy coming over here man you know what i'm saying Okay, so I have arrived at the New Jersey State Police to pick up my actual permit to carry. And let's see. This is kind of what it looks like with all your information over here at the bottom. And I don't know why they give you this big card, but I'm going to take this and go get it laminated so that it could fit right into my wallet along with my other, other permit to carry um, cards. This is crazy. And I guess, like I said, as the process goes on, they'll probably get better, start doing things a little different. And it does on here say, this card may be laminated. I almost thought it said it may not be. I was getting ready to say, yo, that is real crazy. So I just have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna take and measure it up with another card and just kind of like, I guess, fold it so that it could be the size of a card. Get it into my wallet, man. I see somebody else coming in. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's crazy. Expires 3-26-2025. It says on here, issue date, 3-26-2023. And today is 4 20, what, 28 2023 So it said it was issued on 3 but I didn't get a call until yesterday, which was like the 20. So would they wait 30 days before they call you after it's issued? I don't know. But anyway, I got it. I'm happy to have it. And on to the next. I want to go and get the, I believe it was the Arizona one. Arizona, that allows you to carry in some other states up that way. I uh, have to double check to see all the states because I don't want them. The ones that I have so far, Florida, Pennsylvania, Utah, Florida, PA, Utah, and now New Jersey. I uh, get the Arizona one, I think. And also for 
South Carolina because the one that I have for Utah and Florida will allow you to carry in North Carolina, but South Carolina is kind of difficult. So I believe you have to go to South Carolina to apply for a non-resident permit. I'll be going down there to pick my boy up in a few weeks and I'm going to look into that. So I may be able to take care of that while I'm down there. All right. So we're going to keep on pushing, man. And now we are licensed to carry in the state of New Jersey, man. Remember, 10 rounds or less, no more. And also document the firearm that you will be carrying because you cannot carry a firearm that's not registered with New Jersey. At the bank, taking care of this business. All Star Realty Group, baby. Hey, yo, listen, man. Listen, 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 listen. Always. Jersey is some folders, man. This won't even fit in the wallet. Like, I had to get it laminated, bring it down myself, try to make it fit in the wallet. Like, it was this big old goofy piece. After these messages, we'll be right back. The state of New Jersey, where I am currently now licensed, I can carry the two firearms I was telling you about, and these firearms are clear. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine inserted. Same with this one. Start with the Bursa Thunder 380. This is the actual firearm I was talking about, and this firearm carries eight rounds in the magazine. This is an eight round magazine firearm. So even with one in the chamber, I'm up to the nine. So I'm safe with this one for my carry in the state of New Jersey. And this is documented. And also my Glock 19X Gen 5. This one is also, this is a Glock 19 and it's a nine rounder. I'm sorry, it's a 10 rounder, 10 rounds in here so if i'm going to carry this i just have to make sure that i have the 10 round magazine and also i'll just make sure I, i'm just going to make sure i have 10 rounds period i'm not going to insert one and make it 11 even though i think the law says a 10 round magazine which means maybe you can have one in the chamber but to be safe i'm going to just do my total of 10 when i'm traveling in in the state of new jersey all right I like this right here in the flat dark earth. I like it with the um uh oh, I think my battery died with my sight on the front. Oh, maybe I had it off. Let's see. I gotta charge this up. And this does take an actual charger. Yes, sir. My battery died, so I have to charge up. My laser optic on the front, I have to charge that up. It's an actual light and a laser. So we're gonna take this off now and go put it on the charger so we, we are good to go, man. Take that off and go charge them up, all right? So, yep, I'm thinking this is probably going to turn into my favorite carry for now on. Since I have to uh, carry up to 10 rounds in New Jersey, I'm going to turn this into my favorite carry. All right. So I basically just wanted to show you guys the two firearms that are registered that I can carry in the state of New Jersey where I'm currently licensed. Awesome. All right. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, um, send me a comment.